Hello again, presumably mortal humans. Another Wings of Fire video for you today, and hopefully the start of a new series. I'll be judging the queens of Pyrio and Pantala, on different occasions, using a modified five things of the thing that my history class uses to judge kings. For the first episode in the series, we have Mohen, Coral, and Ruby. So, the criteria for this. On the left, you will see a list of six items my history class uses to judge the kings of the past, and on the right is the modified version for the Queens of Pyre and Pantala, the one we will be using. The items we use are produce a female heir, win battles and be a good warrior, defend the queendom, allow dragons to live freely and safely, and uphold, follow, and protect the law. First is the Mudwing Queen, Moorhen. In comparison to her siblings, she is basically a giant, so that's why she's a big wings. Item 1. Produce a female heir. As far as we know, Moorhen doesn't have a daughter or granddaughter, but she does have a sister to inherit or take the throne. Pass. 2. Sunny was sure many dragons on both sides would be killed in a Mudwing versus Icewing battle, so I'd say Mudwings are fairly formidable fighters. Try saying that five times fast. Earning Moorhen a pass. 3. Defend the Queendom. Mohen is protective and leads her tribe the way that she sees as the safest. She panicked and blamed herself about the dragons dying in the war, so she obviously wants to take care of her people. Another pass. Second to last, allow dragons to live freely and safely. Mohen didn't want to put her tribe into a war, and Sora describes her queen as a good one. Pass. And last, uphold, follow, and protect the law. Mohen is respected by her subjects, and they were prepared to follow her into a battle they were sure they would die in. And since Morhen is technically the Mudwing Law, the upholding, protecting, and following of that isn't too tricky. Obvious pass. The second queen is Coral of the Sea Wings. Yeah, if you've read, if you've read The Lost Air, I don't think you're thinking she's going to do as well as Morhen. Numero uno. Probably in the worst Spanish accent I've ever heard. <laughs> Airs. One of the only things Coral could probably surpass all queens on. Unfortunately, she's only got three alive that are female, and thus useful to her. But that's plenty to give Coral a huge pass. Well, Coral's certainly strong, being able to pull out a dragon's teeth and heave your daughter around in a harness underwater all day. All day. So I'll give her a pass. Defending the Queendom. Yeah, defending the Queendom by sentencing an innocent dragon while your palace is being bombed by Skywings. Fail. Allowing dragons to live freely and safely is definitely not strong Coral's strongest wetsuit. I'm sorry. Anyway, Coral totally belly flopped on this one. Oh, I'll stop now. <laughs> Upholding the law, yes. So long as you, so long as the law condones murder and disobeying the queen, absolute failure. All in all, Coral is as bad a queen as she is a mother. Now for the final queen for today, Ruby. She has that weird identity thing, switch, or whatever. While Ruby only has one offspring, Cliff, the adorable songwriter, Ruby has 11 sisters or so, plenty of theirs, so that's a pass. I also want to say at 12 years of age, Ruby has an entire lifetime to have other kids. I didn't want to say that about Morhen and Coral, because I think Morhen is a little old and Coral won't have eggs since her husband died. Considering Ruby beat ex-Queen Scarlet, her mother, and a widely feared dragoness, and managed to kill her, albeit as Tourmaline, that's a pass. By removing herself and the tribe from the War of Sandwing succession, Ruby probably saved many dragons, not just from her own tribe. There's a third pass for Ruby. Does Ruby allow dragons to live freely and safely? If you said no, you obviously didn't know the nice things Ruby does for the dragonets in the wingery, and the fact she built a hospital with about half the gold previously used by Scarlet, I believe, to decorate the palace interior. Clear pass. Last and not least, uphold, follow, and protect the law. Ruby did say the proper way to take the Skyrim throne was to challenge Beat and kill the Queen. Once again, pass for Ruby. And before we end the video, I'd just like to do a quick recap of which Queens were good and which Queens were bad. Morhen and Ruby being the good ones, with 5 out of 5, and Coral being the bad one, only 2 out of 5. Well, that's the end of today's video. Like if you enjoyed, don't dislike if you didn't, and it's a waste of my time. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and comment your thoughts. And if you want to, answer the questions up on the screen.